One of Stanton's big themes, and I completely agree with it, is we're trying to bring our day-to-day -day lives in line with the deeper values that we have and which we may tend to ignore. <clears throat> so <clears throat> um, much of his effort has been to help remind people, you know, these are actually important aspects of yourself. And if you got more in touch with them, and then if you had a craving, well, so what? If you're, if you're really committed to losing weight, for instance, and then you feel hungry one day, it's like, well, okay, I knew that was going to happen. It's not going to be upset about that. It's not going to make me eat. Um, it's just something I'm putting up with for the sake of this higher goal. You know, Stanton may end up being like Moses, who saw the promised land, but did not get to live there. Mm. Um, I think any of us who are trying to do something big end up doing something that's going to extend beyond our lifetimes. Mm. Um, John Lewis recently died, a civil rights leader in the 60s, you know, a major force and a major force for decades. He certainly didn't see the culmination of what needed to be done, but his work was absolutely critical. And he, what, he was one of dozens, hundreds of leaders. Um, it's uh, it's the ongoing development of humanity that we're all engaged in. I'm the bricklayer who's trying to build that building to contribute to the development of humanity. Mm. And uh, that sort of project extends beyond our lifetimes. Uh, but I think uh, when the history of the 20th and 21st century change in addiction is uh, written, I don't think there's going to be anybody more important than Stanton Field.